All right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be doing feed lab, uh, feedback loops advanced version. So um, if you haven't seen the beginner version, the you know video previous to this, I highly suggest you do or you don't, you know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> I'm not going to force you. Um, but uh, this right here is something you would usually see on a college or university exam for physiology. It's quite very vague. Um, like there's not, there's no, there's no associations with this. Like, what is the liver? There's, what's the brain? You know, it's just organ A, organ B, organ C, hormone A, and hormone B, right? There's not much to it, but that's, there's actually a lot going on. Um, so it's quite tricky. Um, this, how do I know this is going to be like on a college test or university test? It's because this was on my test, this exact question. And a lot of people got this wrong. Um, so we're going to go over it. So what's happening here? So let's start from the beginning. We're going to go slowly. So you got organ A. And organ A produces hormone A. Hormone A, when secreted, causes hormone B because it's green, right? Like that. Um, will cause organ B to produce hormone B. And hormone B is basically reinforcing, right? The green uh, arrow kind of means reinforcing. It's going to make organ C produce insulin-like growth factor. This is basically another word. Basically, we're saying this is hormone C. Okay. Now, hormone C's job, or insulin-like growth factor, inhibits organ B and organ A, as indicated by the red line in the bar. So basically, it's repressing or stopping organ A from doing its function or stopping organ B from doing its function, which is secreting the, or, you know, the hormones. So let's go over this, you know, uh, let's go over A. So first, indicate whether blood concentrations will be higher, unchanged, or lower. So let's start with A. We have a tumor producing lots of hormone B. Okay, so there's a tumor in organ, you know, organ B, because that's what's producing, you know, hormone B. So you have a tumor, and there's a lot of organ, uh, hormone being produced, right? There's a, there's a ton, a ton of it. Okay, this reinforces organ C, right, to be producing hormone C, which is being produced by the, you know, organ C. I know it's like the term is kind of weird. Um, that's just probably how a lot of people got this wrong on the test is because organ C, hormone C, organ B, hormone A, blah, 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 right? Anyways. Hormone B secretions up, right? Well, we have a lot of it. This will cause organ C to secrete a lot of this hormone C. So now there's a lot of this, right? A lot of this. But remember, hormone C inhibits organ B and organ A. So you just, you know, normally, you know, it'd be inhibiting, but now there's a lot of hormone C now. So this means organ A is going to be inhibited even more. This also means organ B is going to be inhibited more, right? Hopefully that makes sense. So now hormone A is, what's the concentration going to be? Well, if organ A is being inhibited by a lot, this means the hormone A, right, which gets secreted from organ A, hormone A will be lower. Now, what about organ B, or hormone B rather? Well, it's actually in the, it's in the question, tumor producing lots of hormone B. So there's a lot, so that's why it's high. It's in the question. High, or higher. Okay, what about hormone C? Well, like I said before, if organ B is producing hormone B, and it's so much of it, that means organ C, because or hormone B enforces or reinforces organ C, which causes more hormone C to be produced. Forget it does inhibiting. Just don't, don't worry about that. Just realize that we're producing more of it, right? So it's higher. Higher. Sweet. One down, two more to go. So let's go look at B. Pills that activate hormone B receptors on organ C. So what does this mean? So we have, uh, basically, so let me erase this. 
So now, pretend on this organ C right here, we're adding these receptors for hormone B. So we're just gonna put these little receptors, a bunch of them now. Okay, this means hormone B is gonna bind to this because that's, that's how hormones work. They have to bind to receptors. So now if hormone B, we, we left the concentration of hormone B unchanged, right? So we're starting here, but more is gonna bind. A lot more is gonna bind to these receptors. This would mean that insulin growth factor, there's gonna be more of organ uh, hormone C being produced. We have more receptors, which means more hormone can be combined, right? The concentration, we're, we're not talking about the concentration, we're just talking about how many can bind, right, to organ C. If we add receptors to it, more can bind, meaning more of hormone C will be produced. More. Okay, so we already answered hormone C over here. Uh, we said it's higher. Higher. Okay, what about hormone A, right? So if you have like, if you have more of hormone C, like I said in the previous problem, if you have more of that, this inhibits organ A. So this means we'd have lower amount, right? Because we have so much of horm you know, hormone C, which inhibits organ A a lot more than usual. If this inhibits organ A, we have a lower decrease of hormone A, right? Hopefully this is making sense. Um, lower. Okay, what about hormone B? Okay, this, you have to be careful here. Uh, all I said was the pills activate hormone B receptors on organ C. I had never said anything about the concentration. I just said we added these receptors, right? So more hormone B can bind. Still the same concentration of hormone B, but we just added more activators, receptors. Okay, like I said, we have hormone C has gone up, which inhibits organ B, right? So it's kind of like a negative feedback happening here. And this will be lower. We start here, we go this way and realize, oh, inhibited, right? Okay, blockage of blood vessels of the portal system. What does this mean? Okay, what, what is the portal, portal system? Portal system is literally just basically the transportation system in our body, our blood. Our blood vessels. How does how does blood go to, from one organ to another organ? That's literally all it is. So we, we have something called the hepatic, you know, um, portal system. There's diff a lot of portal systems in our body, but uh, that's just one example. So you have blockage of blood vessels. Okay. So what about hormone A? If uh, we're starting at hormone A, so let me erase this. this okay let me just draw this in fix this okay so we started organ a okay you have to for you to see this you have to complete the entire loop so if we have organ A, which secretes hormone A. However, there's a huge issue. This hormone A can never actually reach organ B because we, we have a clot in the blood system, in our blood supply, right? There's a, we said blockage of blood vessels in the portal system. So it's blocked. So this is technically not even there, right? This arrow, it can never even get, hormone A can never even get to organ B in the first place. This would also mean that organ B is not producing anything. So it's not even producing hormone B. So it doesn't even reach organ C. Okay. Now, if, or if nothing is reaching organ C, hormone B is not reaching organ C. We have blockage of blood vessels. So this means organ C is not doing anything. Okay. It's no longer being inhibited. Organ B and organ A are not being inhibited anymore. Doesn't, uh, they're fine. So if, if prior organ A was being inhibited, it no longer is. No longer is by organ C. So we actually increase the concentration of hormone now. It's higher now because it's not being inhibited. 
I know it's kind of conceptual. It's kind of like critical thinking. Um, now, what about uh, hormone B? Well, remember, as I said, organ A produces hormone A, but it never actually reaches organ B. So it doesn't even, it, hormone B is, is not even being produced at all. So it's lower. Actually, it should be like not at all, but it's lower. And same case for organ C. If, if hormone B is never reaching organ C, organ C is never going to produce anything. So it's going to be lower. And there we go. Um, hopefully this makes sense. Um, I know this is more of a, like an advanced, more tricky example. Um, but hopefully, you know, really hope this makes sense. And I will catch you in the next video.